Hey, I'm Brian Fisher, host of the national television show Fisher's ATV World, and we are here in Elkhart, Indiana for the Keystone RV Open House. Now, if you're a dealer, this is like the Super Bowl of open houses. There's hundreds of units here to look at, but today we're going to be focusing on the Raptor Toy Hauler line. They've got three new models with several industry innovations. Great exterior colors on the full body paint, new floor plans. It's really a product that's going to probably dominate the uh, toy holder business. There's always those guys that want the, the bigger, better deal and uh, uh, new options, and, and they want to upgrade every year. So Keystone has really stepped up their game, and they, they do build one of the finest towable trailers in the industry. This is now the largest show in the country for dealers to come in and uh, preview all the different RV manufacturers' products. Uh, we all bring all of our new models out, all of our new features out, and we give them kind of a test run with our dealers. That's one of the best things because you never know until you bring them here. We've had a lot of people leading up to this show that will come in and they'll see little sneak previews, but this is where it all really happens. So when you watch a dealer walk in and you get the feedback and it's good and they get excited, um, you know it's going to be a good year. It's one of the best parts of the show. We're getting ready to walk in the new Raptor 405, which one of the main features to it is a new 78 inch height door. It's also a new floor plan layout, which features two full bathrooms. And then we'll take a look at some of the other new features to it, too. First of all, it's got a nice, spacious living area, which is nice to have when you're in a toy hauler. The second thing is our new 18 cubic foot refrigerator which is RV compatible instead of being a residential style. And what I mean by that is you could operate this refrigerator off of propane or electric. You don't need a generator. You don't need a bank of batteries or an inverter to operate like you would a residential style refrigerator. You have a couch on one side and then you have a recliner which you really get opposing seating then uh, on the other side. We have actually two options right now, which is a Twilight and Merlot, and this features our Merlot decor, but also our bank of cabinets, which, as you can see, overhead, the recliner chair, you have a bank of cabinets. You have some here right next to the refrigerator. Then you also have some above the microwave and beside the microwave. So what you're getting is and storage, 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 and that's a high demand in our segment, and uh, so you really feature a lot of storage in this coach. Another unique feature, we have this stowaway ladder which simply is recessed into the wall itself. You push up on it, pull out, and you can access this loft area, which sleeps two people easily up there. And a total of sleeping room in this coach is about nine people. The one thing I'm most excited about is our second full bathroom. And this is a unique feature to our product for the first time we're launching a second full bath. And the nice thing about it is, especially if you're out you're, you're playing around, you're getting dirty on dirt bikes or ATVs, you can come in here and take a shower. And it's got the shower, the toilet, it's got the sink, it's got everything you need when it comes to a full bath layout. With this floor plan and having the second full bath, you don't lose any space in the cargo area. You still have 12 foot. This year, Raptor has some really cool high-definition paint schemes. We've got the aggressive orange, iceberg white, keystone blue, and Raptor red. Either way, they're all beautiful, but to me, this aggressive orange is where it's at. This one was built for me. I know it was. Zepka's being all kind of like, well, it is your colors. It does match everything you do in your show, and, and we do have a partnership, and it just so happens it is your colors. I know, Jim need not say no more. You did it for me. As a matter of fact, don't tell Zepka. I got a sticker. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. That's it. It's ours. We tagged it. This is our next unit. This is the Raptor 425. This is most similar to Brian's coach. The cool thing is, is we've taken an awesome floor plan, one of our most popular, and really kind of one-upped it by adding in a second bathroom. The great thing about this floor plan is you have this huge separated living area from the kitchen. So typically in a floor plan, especially when you have a garage model, a toy hauler, is the living area and the kitchen are kind of combined. In this floor plan, we've been able to separate both areas. Now a couple of new things, 
instead of a sofa, you can get a sofa with a little kind of a breakfast nook type of table. So it's an option if you wanted it. And then as I mentioned before, the 18 cubic foot refrigerator. Gone stainless steel appliances on that, microwave oven, stainless steel faucets, which are all new features. A pull out sliding pantry. So it's just gonna make things a lot easier to get to, even very, very buried in the back. Now with us adding in the bathroom, this wall changed a little bit. So rather than having the sliding glass door, we uh, put in a big passage door. And it has a window and easy access to the garage. It's just giving the customer a choice. You have the 412 with a full size 12 foot garage, or now you have the option of the 425 with a secondary half bath. We put the ramp patio on just about all of our Raptors. It is an option, so if somebody didn't want it, they could opt out of this option, but it's, it's so awesome, not only because we're gonna give you spotlights under the awning, we're, not, we're gonna give you the awning, we're gonna give you the patio with the rail system, but we're also gonna give you exit stairs off of the back. So unique to Raptor for now is that you can enter and exit off the patio of the Raptor. This is a little three season door option that we offer. So in addition to the pull down screen, you can add this in as well. The advantage is, is you have all of the screen inserts, but then you also have a plastic insert here. So you're gonna be able to prevent wind or dust or whatever it may be coming in here without having to close the ramp door. One of the upgrades they've made in the Raptor toy haulers that we really love is the air conditioner units. They put in a 15,000 unit in the living area and in the bedroom, and it's a max flow air system. It's a zone controlled unit. That way there's no hot spots in the coach, the garage, everything is nice and cool. It keeps the air flowing and circulating and makes everybody happy. Well, the way it works is number one, both air conditioners are now tied into the ducting system. You have more of a raceway type of venting and the advantage there is you get a consistent flow through all of the ducts. Then with the zone control, you can control which air conditioners are on, which air conditioners are off. So say for instance, during the day, you're running both air conditioners, you wanna cool it down as much as you can. At nighttime, you don't want that air conditioner over your bed running. So you can turn that one off, turn that zone off, and then keep the other zone on and still have airflow, not only in the bedroom, but also the living room and also the garage. Right now we're in the Raptor 375. It's a smaller unit, it's a double axle unit, and it's got a bath and a half in here, so you still have some features. It has an 11 foot garage. You've got a nice couch here that's a three place couch, and the footrests come up on all of them. And your TV is kind of offset here, it's on an angle. So you can sit there and watch TV. You still have your fireplace, your entertainment center. You've got your 18 cubic foot refrigerator. It's a, it's a really nice setup as far as having more counter space. It's just a lot more uh, homier feel for a smaller unit. So if you don't need something really big like the triple axle unit, this double axle 375 is great. So the unique thing about the garage of the Raptor is that we have tie downs in the floor rated at 5,000 pounds. You're actually looking at a portion of the chassis that's actually welded to the chassis to give you the most strength of a tie down in the garage. So when you're bringing your equipment in, motorcycles, four wheelers, side by sides, whatever it may be, as you're tying it down, you have to worry about nothing uh, as far as that tie down potentially moving or shifting or ripping out of the floor because it's part of the chassis. The fireplace in the Raptor is a standard feature, so every single Raptor will get it. And not only is it just something aesthetically that looks nice and gives you the lights and gives you the fireplace effect, but you also have a space heater in there. So it's gonna blow out 5,000 BTUs of heat. And if you just need to take the edge off in the morning, uh, just warm the room up real quick, just throw that thing on and it's gonna you know, nicely warm this place up real quick. Well, it's a luxury fifth wheel toy hauler, and so we focus on making sure that it's gonna be that across the board. So for instance, every single Raptor floor plan has king beds. A lot of the other manufacturers, they will offer you one or two or three floor plans with king beds, but if you want a true selection of a king bed, you're gonna be able to see everything having the king bed in a Raptor. 
Again, kind of a consistent thing with Raptor is we stick with one type of cabinetry, but everything that you see in here that's wood is actually solid wood. We don't use any kind of MDF or particle board anywhere inside the Raptor. So where a lot of people will save money and put some kind of a particle board type of style or countertop or cabinet door or something like that, we stay away from that completely. Uh, we've been around since 1996 and over the years we have um, drastically improved our quality, our service and our production to where we are driving the largest uh, percentage of market share for a single towable manufacturer. My family's been with Keystone since the day of its inception. They're a company that's basically they put the customer first. Um, as far as customer service, I've done business with other RV companies. They are concerned about making sure people are happy. I've had issues that were three years old and they were they took care of the issues. I can't say enough. That's why I'm a Keystone only dealer. Toy all our customer is looking for great quality at a great value and something that they're proud to hook onto. And Keystone name delivers that.